Hey, what's up? M here, the Traveling Tarot. Capricorn, M here, the Traveling Tarot with your messages from spirit in regards to whatever's on your mind. These messages can resonate pretty much, they're timeless, so anytime that you have found the video, then start looking for evidence for the things that do resonate. They are for people with Capricorn placements. However, if you were guided to find this video, there's a message in it for you. Spirit is the master of timing, and that's how it works, through giving you impulses and inspirations to, to do things, and, and so stick around. <laughs> we're going to start by cleansing the space, and then we'll jump right into the read. Okay, I hope you are doing very well. I'm going to start with these animal oracle cards um, because animals obviously are wonderful at being led by their intuition and we want to see what spirit we need to embody over the next few weeks to navigate this new energy with ease. What information can I give the viewer, Capricorn, watching this video, spirit? What message do you want them to have in regards to whatever is on their mind? Now they are general messages, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't, but if something does resonate, definitely positive expectancy that you are um, going to receive it or see evidence of it is going to 100% guarantee that you will, okay? Oh, that's so cool. Thank you so much, Spirit. Uh, we have the dragonfly showing up with magic, okay? This is the energy that you're going to need to embody, okay? I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. Oh, Capricorn, that's such a beautiful energy to be in. And also, I've been seeing lots of dragonflies around, so you're going to probably start seeing a lot of that as well. That is your sign that magic is around you and to tap into the magic around you and also feel around for a message when you see those dragonflies, okay? Because there is something that uh, Spirit wants is leading you to and that's what these dragonflies are going to represent and they're going to let you know that you're tapped into the magic, okay? Just start looking out for those. And then we have... Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the revealer of truth with the coyote, okay? And this is about don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. That's interesting. That's been sort of the overarching energy of the reads I've been doing is make time to play. It is time for us to let go of this heaviness of, of, of life and have fun and embrace the beauty and the fun and the love of life, okay? Make time to play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them, okay? It's time, big time, Capricorn, for you guys to embrace more magic in your life and have more fun, okay? Um, let's see what other information Spirit wants to provide. We will go with the Gaia Oracle cards so that we can get more information in regards to this magic. Or this truth that looks like you guys are going to be expecting some type of truth as well with this revealer of truth showing up. So I guess as you embrace this magic, not even I guess, I feel as you embrace this magic, you're going to be seeing more truths. You're going to be living more truth, which means you're going to be experiencing more truth. Yes, that's so beautiful with the clarity card showing up. Planning and releasing the illusion. Did I not say that you guys were going to be experiencing more truth as you embrace, as you embrace this magic? The truth is being revealed to you, okay? So look around for those dragonflies, okay? Seriously. And then we have some type of conflict or unrest showing up. And maybe that is what is causing the lack of clarity. But Spirit is saying, the truth is about to be revealed to you in some way, so just tap into the magic that's around you, and you will receive the clarity. 
What other information can I give Capricorn Spirit in regards to what's on their mind and how they can, you know, release whatever conflict or unrest they might be experiencing? Go with the flow. <laughs> I love you, Spirit. I love when you do this. This is like Spirit putting together a sentence. You can go with the flow, okay? Letting go, cleaning, receiving. This is how you are going to receive that clarity, is by releasing whatever is keeping you feeling bound there, Capricorn, okay? Okay? There's clarity coming in. Go with that flow, okay? Let go of, and, and make a plan. Honestly, what are you trying to create? What is it you're trying to create? Then you start, when you know for, when you have a clear vision, and this is why getting clear on your vision is the most important thing. When you have a clear vision, you know what steps to take. You receive the right steps. But the, sometimes the work is getting clear on that vision. Okay? When you know what you want, and you guys are wonderful about that, so I don't want to go too hard on that, but I do want you guys to know that there is something here that you're holding on to that will do you well to release so that you can receive clarity. Okay? And tap more into the magic that's around you because that, as you do that, you'll receive the clarity and it'll be easy to let go of the other thing because you'll see the truth. <laughs> and why would you hold on to something that's not the truth? Then you're choosing, which you can do. Okay? Spirit is only going to reveal the truth to you. You do have to choose it, though. Okay? We do get free will here. Okay? Touching the earth, planting something new. You see what I mean? Make some type of plan here, okay? Because that's so beautiful. I love you so much, Spirit. Because there's some type of magic coming in, and we have achievement showing up at the bottom of the deck there, okay? Which says effort plus intention. Set the intention to plant something new here as you receive this clarity, okay? And go with the flow. Go with what you receive, okay? Because it is clarity coming in from spirit, and it is going to feel like magic. It's so important to tap into the magic of life around you, and I know that sometimes it can be difficult doing that with what we're living because we're physically touching things, but the spiritual is more real <laughs> than what we're living. What we're living is energy we've already flowed. It's already manifested. What we are going to live is the energy that we're flowing now, which is why this moment is the most important thing to focus on. And when you focus on this moment, all other moments follow suit, especially when you can do it from a high vibrational standpoint, okay? What other information can I give Capricorn in regards to this clarity that they're going to receive? and tapping into this magic in the, or the truth that they're going to be receiving. What other information do you want the person watching this video to know about what they're planning and how to bring this clarity in? Obviously tapping into the magic. Do things that feel good. You know what's high vibrational. You know what feels good and you know what doesn't. And really it's, in, it's, a, it's an individual thing. That's too many cards, Spirit. I'm definitely just looking for one or two cards. Okay. We have masculine showing up, okay? So, some of you guys, yeah, what I'm getting here is that some of you guys have been in this masculine energy for a while. And so, this is why Spirit is saying you really need to embrace you really need to embrace this magic that's around you because you guys are very good at manifesting. No doubt about it. You're very good at um, planning and figuring things out and, and banging things into place, if you will, okay? Action-oriented. Spirit is saying it's time to tap into the magic around you so that you realize that you don't have to bang things into place. It actually is easy. It's easy and flows to you easy. You don't have to hold things together. You don't have to bang things into place. You don't have to strive 
You just have to be able to receive the clarity, let go of what's not serving you and go with the flow, and that newness is going to come in. That newness is going to come in and you are going to see it's going to feel like magic because of the ease at which it flows to you, okay? And it's all right if you're in that masculine energy because, to be honest, in the opposite way for me, just to show the, the polarities, I need to tap more into this masculine energy. I'm, I'm working towards becoming more banging into place because I am very intuitive and I'm typically led by my, my spirit and I stay in that spirit so that I can remember because it's very easy to not. But also, you have to take action. You have to get up and do things as well. But I just do it from a place of inspired action, okay? And we have epiphany and breakthrough showing up at the bottom of the deck with that, okay? So some of you guys are going to receive maybe something in your dreams or just as a daydream, but you're going to receive some type of epiphany or breakthrough in this situation, okay? So maybe you have been banging things into place, but just tap into the magic that's around you. Stop and smell the flowers. Look around and appreciate where you live and what you get to do and what you get to expect and 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 live. You know, we have the Ace of Cups showing up, which is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, that's also it says the Ace of Water, but it's the Ace of Cups in Tarot. So this is about new, new love, new creativity, new emotional fulfillment, new passion project, new something that's going to be overflowing with emotion, okay? It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. This is why tapping into this magic is so important, because as you receive the clarity, you're attracting these new opportunities, okay? You're, and that's so beautiful, Capricorn, because you guys really deserve it. Spirit wants me to tell you that you guys really, really deserve it, because you are hard workers. You're very... Um, you know, studious and, and, and trustworthy and responsible, and that's beautiful. But as you tap into this magic, you're going to realize that you can release some of that responsibility and relinquish it to spirit so that you can do what we're here to do, create. You don't have to figure out every, every aspect of it and how and all of that stuff. Just create. Spirit does the rest, okay? Some of you might be in some type of separation from this, okay? You may be longing <laughs> for this clarity as this falls out next, uh, you know, adjacent to the clarity. You might be feeling separated from this because you've been bound to this masculine energy, okay? But don't worry because you're going to receive this clarity as you tap into the magic. And if you don't know how to do that, surrender. Surrender is always the best way because it does bring relief and it brings results. And also, self-worth and expectations showing up at the bottom of the deck. So just keep that in mind as you are going with the flow and letting go and cleansing yourself and opening yourself to receiving brand new things. Okay? What do you expect? Positive expectations, okay? Your self-worth. What do you, you know, you, people will give you... <laughs> what you say, you, what you think you are, you know? And that's on both ends of the spectrum. If you think that you're not worth this, then you'll only get that. If you think that you're worth way more than that, you will get that. Okay? So just trust that. And release that energy of separation and longing, okay? Because the more you tap into the magic, the more you are going to be blending both aspects of you. And you're going to be tapping into the feminine energy. And you know what? Spirit wanted this to come out. You saw me shuffle. This is about your self-worth. Okay? And setting higher expectations. Most importantly, not striving harder. <laughs> As I say, that nurturing and compassion shows up at the bottom of the deck. Spirit is not telling you to work harder. Spirit is telling you to love yourself harder. Look at the things you're expecting. And are you getting what you're expecting? Because you can change what you expect, it takes work, but as you tap into your self-worth, you can do it, Capricorn, okay? Your new beginning is coming in. The overall energy of these next few weeks, as you, as you receive clarity, 
tap into the magic around you, okay? Because this new beginning, this new emotional fulfillment is coming through. And it's going to come through with whatever level of expectation and self-worth that you're absolutely focused on, okay? I'm going to jump right into the tarot and see... Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles jumping right out, okay? So there's new opportunities. You have the Ace of Cups right here. I'm, yeah, the Ace of Cups in this deck and the Ace of Pentacles, okay? This is financial and emotional fulfillment, new potential, new opportunities for abundance and love. This is about you deciding what that looks like, okay, and tapping into that. And we have the Ten of Wands showing up at the bottom of the deck, okay, so you're at the end of this cycle, which I love the Ten of Wands because it typically tens, because uh, tens mean endings, and then when you break that down, it goes into a new beginning. This is about laying those burdens down before you go into that new beginning, okay? Yeah, look at this, you guys. We have the Three of Cups showing up, okay? No more separation. You have your community. You're creating. You're celebrating. You're fellowshipping. You've received this new beginning. And you're feeling fulfilled. You've tapped into your soul tribe. I think that's what it's saying here there, my beautiful Capricorn. Because look at this. We have the Eight of... We have the Eight of Wands showing up, okay? Eights are typically about mastery of self and motion forward, okay? And this one specifically means obstacles are clear. So it is time to tap more into the magic of life and realize your self-worth, okay? Have more fun, okay? This, this feeling of separation and having to bang things into place, that's dead. That doesn't mean it's not going to require action, but it's certainly going to require more clarity. Because as you receive the clarity, you receive the fun. You receive the new beginnings. You receive the money. You receive the love. You receive whatever it is that you're focused on and what you expect based on what you believe you're worth. And, again, you raise your self-worth by loving yourself. And that, that sometimes takes practice. <laughs> sometimes loving yourself takes practice, especially when you um, haven't had confidence or you've lived a life where, I was just going to say, and it showed up, I see you, don't hide. I'm not afraid of you anymore either, three of, three of swords. <laughs> when you've lived a life of hurtful things. Okay, if you're in this energy, not only do I want to send you a big hug, but I definitely want you to know that it's going to be all right. Use this experience to bring in the new beginning. Use it to lift you higher. Use it to let you know what you what will no longer stand in your life anymore, my beautiful Capricorn, okay? Because this, this card comes out on the self-worth card. So some of you guys may have had an experience. Look at this. You guys have three threes here. Okay. That's beautiful, you guys. So look out for the angel numbers 333, three, three, okay? 33, 333, three, three, three. It's, it's a magic number for you guys. So look out for that number because, yeah, whatever has made you doubt yourself. Um, we have two more threes with the Empress. We have the Three of Cups and the Three of, of Swords. Whatever has made you doubt yourself with this Three of Swords it's over, okay? The Empress is going to come in and give you a reason to celebrate, okay? But you do need to tap into this, this self-worth and deciding what it is you want to create now because, look, your outcome is planting something new as you touch the earth, but you need to, what, what are you going to plant now? That's the question there, my beautiful Capricorn, because you have both cups, love, and money coming in in the ways that you want it to as you tap into this clarity and release things that are no longer serving you. Okay, what are you going to bring into this new beginning is the question. Okay, I'm going to pull a couple more of these cards and then send you off with a self-care card and let you guys know that I did just launch 
my new podcast, The Divine Shuffle. So please check it out on Spotify, Amazon Music, um, iHeartRadio. I think it's on Apple Music by now. I don't know, it takes a little while. But if not, it's definitely on those other platforms. Um, yeah, The Divine Shuffle podcast. And um, let's get together and feel all right. Let's have a discussion about this. Let's change some lives, okay? <laughs> all right, what information can I... Provide. Well, Capricorn. Oh yeah. Yeah, you guys. We have the Nine of Swords showing up, and this is about this Three of Swords. This is about this Three of Swords. Whatever this was that dinged your self worth is still kind of keeping you up at night or just in your head, okay? But the wonderful thing about the Nine of Swords, okay? Not only does it bring an awareness to kind of what you might be feeling right now, all of those knives are above her head, which is showing that it's all in your head, okay? Whatever it is that has dinged your confidence and made you doubt your self-worth, my beautiful Capricorn, is all in your head, okay? Because there's new beginnings waiting to come in that are going to be reasons to celebrate, okay? But you're stuck in this Nine of Swords energy, possibly, and Spirit is saying the ma tapping into the magic is going to be kind of the only way you're going to get out of that energy, okay? Because you're not going to be able to bang it into place because you're, you're, in, a, you're in an energy, especially with this Nine of Swords, you're in an energy of separation and longing. And so it's going to keep you, um, unfortunately, it'll keep you stagnant and it'll keep you feeling separated from spirit. But as you tap into your self-worth, receive the clarity, beautiful, the sun shows up. Okay? The sun comes in to let you know that there's new beginnings, it gives you more, it, it gives you energy, it brings back vitality and positivity and happiness and innocence in your life, okay? Um, but you do want to realize as soon as you can that the stuff that you're focused on is not bringing you what you want, okay? We have the chariot showing up, okay, with the sevens. Sevens are about wholeness in the Bible. Sevens are about achievement and alignment, okay? This is about momentum. This is about determination. This is about using your will to push through this Three of Swords energy. Use it to lift you higher and to, to raise your expectations of what's possible, okay? Seven of Coins showing up, which is the Seven of Pentacles, which is about you being in the gestation period, okay? It seems like it may have been a little bit of a rough ride. All right, look. I'm not, look, I am fresh out of this nine, uh, out of this sword's energy. From the nine, from the three to the nine, all of it, okay? One thing about the nines, though, and what I really love here, and just to give a positive spin on this nine of swords, is that nines are about fulfillment, so you're about to be out of this energy if you are in this energy. And to make it happen faster, you just tap into magic. Okay, I'm going to pull one more card here and then give you a self-care card. Oh, send you off with the most love and the most hugs I can muster up in a video. Okay, oh, that's beautiful, Spirit. Okay, so then we have the Queen of Wands and the Hierophant. Okay, so we have the Hierophant jumping out, showing that it's time to tap into some type of maybe higher learning or some type of tradition that is going to help you realize and remember that you hold the key to this. You hold the key to this is actually the thing to realize. You hold the key to changing this Nine of Swords energy. Thank you, Spirit. And this Three of Swords energy. Because it jumped out with the Queen of Wands. This is you standing in your power again, my beautiful Capricorn. As you release this, this Three and Nine of Swords energy, tap back into the magic, 
realize that you hold the key with the Hierophant to doing this, you're reclaiming your power as the queen, as the, as the queen king of, of wands, okay? You're standing in your power. And to throw the exclamation point on it, Spirit wants you to know that you, you're victorious in this, okay? So work on expecting the victory. Work on expecting good things there, my beautiful Capricorn, because beautiful things are coming, okay? This was an amazing read. The takeaway here is I would say use your will to find your power again and to tap more into magic, to receive that clarity and release this energy of separation and anxiety and worry, okay? What do you expect? What's your self-worth? Who do you say you are? Okay? So I'm going to give you guys a self-care card, and I'm going to mention again, please check out the Divine Shuffle podcast. We talk about some wonderful topics, as well as do a collective message read for the listener. So you can check that out also on YouTube, here on my channel, um, or like I said, on Spotify, uh, Apple Me or Amazon Music and iHeartRadio. <laughs> so, we have Reed. We have Reed showing up as a self-care card and write a gratitude list. This is the fastest way to get back into the energy that you want to be in is to sh start thinking about things that you're grateful for. But Reed showing up with the Hierophant is saying that, yeah, maybe you guys want to look into learning some new things. Maybe check out some books on whatever you're interested in that could bring a fresh pr fresh perspective not just to your life but to you know whatever whatever you love to do and whatever you're doing okay i am m the travel and tarot thank you again for watching slash listening <laughs> follow me on all the socials and check out the divine shuffle podcast on YouTube, Spotify, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio. All right? Take care of each other. I love you. Peace.